Okay, I've already mentioned the, the write-up thing. Let's talk about that now, the writing up. You, you, I mean, you, you talk about the different ways of presenting data. Mm. You mentioned the, um, in your writing the, the thematic, um, you know, each case uh, yeah. sorry, done separately, then, then a thematic approach yeah. with perhaps examples from each case for each yeah. theme. And the third is perhaps using um, uh, you know, a, a single case to illustrate each of the, the major thematic approaches. Is that, yeah. I mean, is that something you'd recommend that people choose one of those, or can they mix them? Or yeah, I mean... Is that something the major ones from a whole range of what, what you What you see most often in, in, in it, or most thematic approaches, and is exactly the point Clive Seale was making, and I, th I think to some extent the format of journal articles encourages this as well, mm. uh, that you know, the word limits are fairly tied. Uh, and the most efficient way is often to take it main theme by main theme yeah. and then talk about and then use examples of cases to illustrate those. Mm -hmm. Because if you do it case by case, you inevitably have a fair degree of repetition. Yeah. Uh, and, and to give enough material for the reader to get sense of that case, you've got to use a certain amount of words up. If you've got 20 cases and you've got a 4,000 word article, you're struggling mm -hmm. big time. Um, but. I, I, I often now, my preferred option, and certainly what I often encourage postgraduate students to do, is that mixed approach where you, you, you present your overview theme by theme analysis, mm -hmm. and then on some purposive, well reasoned grounds, you pick cases to illustrate key differences within that. So you might, for example, um, I have a student um, who's doing her PhD on patient experiences of whiplash injury and this is the way she's presenting some of her data that, that there'll be an overall thematic analysis using template analysis and then she's picking cases that illustrate different types of experience because she's, she's found that there are kind of dis fairly discrete groups of patients in terms of how they experienced the way they were treated by the medical system and the way they, the way their illness developed. Mm -hmm. So she'll pick examples of the categories that she's developed mm -hmm. to help get the, give the reader a more holistic flavour, really, of what is it like to be a person whose whiplash experience followed this course. Now you could get that just from the thematic thing, but I think you get a lot more by having the thematic overview and then the more case-based one that just highlights those themes that tell that case most right. clearly. Yeah. How do you know which paid cases? I mean, how, how, physically, how do you do this? I mean, you, you've got the themes, you've got a yeah. nice thematic code book or a template yeah. that you're using, and you can pick out the major themes in the template. But then how do you go back to the data? You, you've got to, what, these links that you've kept on your cards that go back to the data? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Is that how you pick out which cases to use? Yeah, I, I mean, I, oh, I suppose the other thing I would add there, I, I very often would encourage, that as, as well as doing your template analysis, that for each individual case, and let's say we're talking about individual interviews for the sake of it, mm -hmm. uh, I would say also write a kind of case summary and, I, you know, and my, my usual guideline is to say, you know, write about a side of A4 and concentrate on all that impressionistic stuff that won't easily show in the coding, but like the fact that you didn't like the person, or you did like the person, or you felt they seemed a bit shifty when they were answering those questions, mm -hmm. or they, they seem to be going on about it. And don't worry about it being a nice, neat thing that you can show to some examiner or, or, or include in a publication. It's, you know, make it very much a personal... And, it, and it's to come because that's what gets lost, I think, in the cross case thematic yes. analysis. Mm -hmm. So I would then say, you know, when, the, when they're doing their writing up, they've got their thematic template and code book and all, and all the indexing to that, be it on cards or be it on in vivo or something. Mm -hmm. But they've also got this more holistic information that remind them who each person was mm -hmm. and, the, and how they found them. And obviously, that helps with reflexivity as well. And so they, they, can, they can draw on that to help them select which cases are going to illustrate the diversity in the analysis best. 